The new year came with a raise for folks across the state working for minimum wage. Now, while it's good for employees, WMAR 2 News Kendall Green is sharing the impact it'll have on small business owners perspective. Kendall. Teresa Thomas is living her dream alongside her husband, Eric, after opening the confetti bar off York Road. And I was like, mm, I'm going to open me a bakery. And I didn't think it would happen so fast. Yeah, great day. <laughs> Since launching in September, they've grown quite a demand from the community. About 3, 30, 4 o'clock when people start getting off, kids start getting out of school, there's a rush. Um, Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, it's a rush. The late afternoon rush poses a challenge, and paying a growing staff to meet that growing demand creates a unique challenge of its own. It's family owned, but we still have outside employees. And the minimum wage, I will say, like is, it's, I wouldn't say that it's hard to meet, but it's a lot. It's a lot for Thomas because of the raise in minimum wage. She's now required to pay workers at least $12.20 per hour instead of $11.60 required the year before, which places a strain on funds on top of the inflated cost of daily supplies skyrocketing in recent months. I just went to buy a case of butter and the case of butter is like $105 a case and it was just like $67. As a newer business in the community, Thomas wants to avoid raising her prices. Then you have minimum wage, and minimum wage is about, you know, going up. And it's kind of like you have to work even harder to just not even meet the demand for what you're selling, but to meet minimum wage. And it's like, it's not a, it's not a balance. This raise is part of a series over the next few years. Minimum wage right now is at $12.50. The following year, it'll be $13.25. And in year 2024, minimum wage will be $14. But for businesses this size, minimum wage will rise about 40 cents each year. So I'll come in um, 8 o'clock, and sometimes I don't leave until 10 o'clock the next morning because I can't afford to pay someone to come in and continuously bake. It should be something that can protect us too. Luckily for Thomas, her protection comes in the form of a recipe. I have a recipe. <laughs> If it's not a cupcake recipe, it may be a cake recipe. If it's not a cake recipe, it may be a cookie recipe. <laughs> In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News.